again. It's a seven acre shop. I'm the seven acre shop guy. This is a request that goes out to Sarah about using a fly rod. I'm not an expert by any stretch, but I've been using a fly rod for pushing 50 years. So these are my takes on what is going to be necessary in order to get started. Now for Sarah, speaking to her, presumably she's got a kit, which would entail a pole, a fly line, and a reel. And on the pole itself, if you look on the pole, we'll try to get a shot of it here. This is a pro angler tournament, eight foot six. And the weight is six to seven. The weight refers to the line necessary to work, to function properly on the fly rod. Now, if this says six, seven, it probably will work with a five, and it may also work with a eight weight line. But a six or seven weight line is going to flex the rod the proper amount in order to propel the fly or your bait to get out to where the fish are at. Remembering the fly right here, this light little fly can't be cast because it's too light. So the line, the weight of the line is what carries the fly to its destination. Now we probably should go outside and it's hot outside and I mean real hot. So we're going to go outside and put this thing together and do some basics. So at least Sarah, you can get started and any questions of course that come up, let us know through Facebook or on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube or like us on Facebook, but you can communicate that way and we can answer any further questions. Yeah. Before we go outside, there's one more little detail that's very important and it's the attachment of your leader material to the fly line itself. There's a variety of knots that you can tie and they're all, in my opinion, complicated. So. What I do is I buy one of these attachment things, which works like the, the old finger, uh, the finger locks, what do we call them, finger handcuffs. It's the same type of a system. So this thing opens up, you, you compress it, it opens up and you stick your fly line into it and then pull it taut and slide a piece of shrink tubing over it and heat it up. And that's what holds this loop. I don't know if you can see that loop but there's actually a loop in the end of it. If you can see that, and then your leader attaches to it. And you're gonna to have to have that in order to attach that leader. Either that or you're gonna to have to learn to tie a knot. Now, when you go out to practice, you can practice in the yard, but don't neglect to put a leader and a fly on so that you can get used to the distance, seeing the distance, because you can see that fly going back and forth through the air you practice make sure you got a leader and a fly a bug of some kind and in this case I don't know if you can see this but this is just a little bass popper and for safety's sake I always do this I've actually cut the hook off because you never know who may come up behind you uh, or what you might hook it on so remove the hook it always works better for me okay here we are outside we got the pole put together and all ready to go now right behind me you see an oak tree and what I want to want you to envision is the top up there in the tree is 12 o'clock right down here at the bottom of the tree is 6 o'clock so as I stand here with the, the, the clock imagine this clock face you got 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock right out about that direction is 10 and about right out that direction is two. So when you cast, this is not a, it's not a buggy whip. So you're gonna move slowly and briskly from 10 o'clock to two o'clock. 10 o'clock, two o'clock, back and forth. And the idea is to stop brusquely. So when you're moving forward and you get to 10, stop, 
When you go back to two, stop. What this allows is the fly line to flex the pull and snap the line back and forth. There are several mistakes that people make mechanically. One, don't, don't do this with your wrist. So imagine from your elbow, I, I like to put my index finger out on the handle because it helps me prevent flexing my wrist. But from your elbow to your hand, your finger, part of the pull, back and forth. told once by an old timer if I could learn to set off a mouse trap with my fly I'd be good enough to trout fish. I don't think you have to be that good but it's, a, it's good to keep in mind. Fly fishing is associated with trout but you can fly fish for fish as large as a tarpon which may get in the neighborhood of 200 pounds, tuna, like a blackfin tuna, 25 to 30 pounds, bluegills, which are my actually my favorite to catch because number one, they're plentiful, number two, they're close, and number three, they are really fun to catch on a fly rod. Bass, anything, anything will strike a fly, depending on what fly you use. This, for instance, is a bass popper, a bluegill will hit it, don't, don't let uh, someone else's ideas limit you. So that's it for now from the Seven Acre Shop. I'm the Seven Acre Shop guy. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Uh, hope it helps, Sarah. Any more questions, ask us and we'll give it a shot. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.